But Diva, the People's President, I also had the recent privilege of being at his annual lecture a couple of weeks ago, where we were listening to the most inspiring president of Liberia, Ellen Johnson, who, by the way, for the record, is the first black female, well, sorry, the first female president in Africa to be elected by a democratic government. <laughs> a truly inspiring woman. But what came to mind was Madiba's opening ambit, where all these people were gathered, A, to acknowledge and recognize him, B, to listen to Ellen Johnson, and his opening ambit was, thank you all of you for being here. I know that you came along purely to see what a man at 90 looks like. <laughs> In the celebration of Madiba, the world over supports the making of a great legacy. A legacy he was prepared to go to jail for, a legacy he was prepared to die for. And what else can we learn from this great leader we have in this country? He is a leader of courage, he is a social philanthropist, a global icon, a wave of inspiration, our very own beacon of hope. And my God, what a privilege it is to have that beacon of hope in 2008 in South Africa today. It is so easy for us to have this jaundiced, negative, cynical view of where things are at, to wallow in a sea of despair. When quite honestly, as entrepreneurs, and we reflect on South Africa, and what lies ahead of us. As real entrepreneurs, we know we love home. And why? Things happen here rather than have happened. Each of us can and do make a difference. We can get out of bed each and every morning, and many of us do, knowing that this successful entrepreneur can do something to make South Africa a better place. As we reflect on the 90-year-old creation of a legacy of Nelson Mandela, I call on each of you to think about a few things. Firstly, to think about your male mentors. There are many of them, and they have much to teach us. Secondly, to learn from this great mentor, Madiba. Thirdly, to reflect on the doom and gloom that so often we South Africans get into, and certainly the doom and gloom of yesteryear but to celebrate and to contribute. And I invite you to watch a DVD that I've recently had the privilege of being part of a team putting it together, which reflects on our years gone by, and at the same time, I remind you to acknowledge, to absorb, to acclaim, to affirm, to celebrate, and to think about what contribution you would like to make to the creation of Mandela's legacy. By doing so, know that you too create your own legacy. How can each of us play it forward? What legacy do we want to create? And for those of you who are propelled to action, as most entrepreneurs are, Mamela Pratt and Associates have the privilege of being the pro bono sales and marketing director, fulfilling that role for the Nelson Mandela Foundation. If any of you are as motivated as we are, like Shirley Sin, we lined up, ready to talk to you, to come into the official 90th birthday celebration book of Nelson Mandela. So I'd like you to watch this DVD, which certainly is a great reflection on one of our greatest leaders of all time. <laughs> It was one of the greatest struggles of our time, a time when thousands of innocent lives were taken through some of the most brutal measures known to man. It would take the bravery of many people to create a free and just system for all, and it would take thousands to bring down the system of apartheid. Even among all those brave people, all the heroes, all the victims, prisoners and leaders, one man stood out because of his extraordinary generosity and wisdom in reaching out across all kinds of political and racial divides. Nelson Rolisasa Mandela, Madiba. Born in Mveso on the 18th of July in 1918, 
And 90 years later, we cannot hear this name without recalling the amazing journey that is Madiba's life. From country boy to city lawyer, from resistance leader, political prisoner, peacemaker, president, and finally, to tireless humanitarian. The man who served 27 years in prison because he dared to demand the right to be equal, to emerge free, not only of chains, but of anger and bitterness. How does one say thank you? How do we ensure that this legacy lives on? Because the example of Madiba's life must be carried on to all generations so that they too can face the challenges in their lives with generosity of spirit, with integrity and courage. That has become the task of the Nelson Mandela Foundation to promote Madiba's vision of justice and freedom. And today we celebrate with the publication of the official Nelson Mandela Foundation 90th birthday book. More than a book, it is a tribute to a truly remarkable man's life, to the spirit of humanity that shines through the darkest hours. This book will join together everyone who wants to say thank you to this great life and ensure that his vision lives on. To assure Madiba that through your support, the legacy lives on. What greater way is there to say thank you and happy birthday, Nelson Olisasa Mandela, for your extraordinary life and your gift to the world. Ukshia ilifa lengubeko. Be part of the legacy by contributing to the Nelson Mandela Foundation and place your birthday message acknowledging Madiba in this 90th birthday celebration edition. Tonight is your night, it's your celebration. To all of you who've got this far, congratulations. I salute you, I acknowledge you. In the spirit of Lily Bollinger, I would like to toast to you, congratulations, I thank you.